Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawal Lake Fox videos. Today we are going to look at how to uh, configure configuration backup on, in WhatsApp Gold. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have my lab router over here and as you can see I already have SSH credentials and SNMP credentials assigned to it from my previous labs. So the simple way to assign is you should configure your credentials inside libraries and respective credentials for telnet or SSH so that I can remotely log into this device uh, using some scripts and uh, then assign that particular credential to this uh, router or whatever network device you are going to work on. So to take the configuration backup of this Cisco router, um, we already have pre-built scripts which are available in configuration backup of WhatsApp Gold. So if you look over here, we already have system script library. And over here, there are lots of scripts which are already there. So I'm going to use one of the built-in scripts over here. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to get into configuration management and then we have task library. So I'm going to get into task library. And if you look over here, we have Cisco running backup available over here. What you can do is you can add your own task. I am going to schedule a task. It would be considered as a scheduled task. Uh, I already have two scripts available. So I'm going to take the startup configuration backup rather than running configuration backup. I'll name it anything like maybe Cisco um, startup backup. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this copy to some location. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create a backup folder over here, which I've already created. And you can see I already have some configuration backups for my testing. So I'm going to delete this one from here and I'm going to just copy this location from here to this one. And I'm going to select the device. I can select a group of devices also, but I'm going to select a device over here. So you can apply the same task to multiple devices at same time. And I can schedule this task. If you look over here, I have a capability to schedule this task to run on schedule basis. Um, and I can configure it according to these settings. And I can limit the number of backups to five or 10. So after those number of backups, it will automatically override the first one. Um, you need to take one thing in consideration. Uh, for the very first time, it would create a backup. And after that, if there is any configuration change, then it will only create a file. Otherwise, it will only update the timestamp uh, in WhatsApp code. I am going to explain you these things maybe later on in some later tutorial. But today, we are going to look at how to configure this to take the configuration backup. You have enabled this threshold also where you can name it as a threshold and it detects configuration changes on a device or it can also take the fails. Uh, it can alert you on fail, uh, fails to run for a device, successfully runs for a device or fails these policies. So there are lots of the different things which we can talk about, but I'm not going to touch these things for this tutorial today. And then I'm just going to click OK on this. So my task is created over here if you look over here. So what I can do is I can simply run this task and you will see my task will run over here and once it is completed, I can simply go and see the results for this completed task. So if you see my task is completed now, I can go and see the results. It says that it has succeeded on this router. My output result is something like this. If you look over here and it has taken the configuration backup of my device. So now the script which it has run is something like this. It has send a login request. Then it went to enable mode. 
for Cisco ASC, it has um, written no terminal pager. And then this is something which I have done, like I have uh, used show start configuration. And these are some things which we are not going to talk about, but these are very important things. So we should not remove these things from here. And then I have sent a logout command in the script. So at the end of the day, this was uh, sent to my router from here uh, as a script to run a task. So now to just show you how my configuration backup would look like, I'm going to go into my drive or before that, what we can do is we can go to device properties of this one. And if you go over here in tasks, I have my tasks over here. So if you look over here, I have a running configuration backup which I have taken on this date and this is the latest one over here and I can simply restore this if I want to restore this configuration back to this router and on the other hand if we go to C drive in configuration backup I have this configuration backup over here right so this is how we can take the configuration backup of a Cisco router. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.